Um, as you know, on Wednesday, there was a 15th case uh, that was diagnosed here in the United States. It's an individual in California. Um, this is a potential community transmission case because we do not have an evident source of how she was infected. No contact that we know of that we can trace immediately to a traveler, say, from Wuhan in China. We are deployed out there. The CDC, the state public health, local public health are aggressively working now to determine the source of her infection, as well as to contact trace the individual she has been in contact with. This is what I've told you about, the blocking and tackling of public health. This is what we do when we have a case. So that's on that individual. And then on the di Oh, I, I said we do not know how she got her infection. I want to be very clear. When one doesn't know, one doesn't speculate on how one on what, what she, how she contracted her infection. We're investigating that right now. We think that unlikely given the timing, but we need to be very careful about what we say about anything regarding science and evidence in public health. Um, the, the other question you had was on diagnostics. So on Wednesday night, uh, the test that we have had three, had three steps to it that the CDC developed, three steps to it. On Wednesday night, the FDA determined that that third step, which was causing some labs to have a bit of difficulty doing their own quality control and validation of the test in their labs, and had kept us at just the CDC plus 11 other labs being able to do tests with no backups in the testing, no backups, but we want to get it out there to more places. On Wednesday night, the FDA authorized the use of the first two parts of the test as a validated test and authorized to be used. So that enabled 40 labs to immediately begin testing with, with the first two parts of that test and that they believe provides adequate quality control. Um, we also um, will very soon, through the FDA, uh, be rolling out streamlined guidance that will allow private labs to be able to create their own tests based on essentially the recipe that the CDC has used in their test kit. And we will get that out very soon. And then private labs throughout the country will be able to come forward and get very streamlined access to be able to, to approval by the FDA uh, to be able to use that test to really enhance the capacities that we have here in the United States on testing. So apologies, I've got to get to run the task forces. Sorry, thank you very much. Thank you.